Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episodes 5 and 6 of Banner of the Stars. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 5 in 3, 2, 1, go. I wonder if we'll see what's her face again. I mean, we saw her at the end of Crest. And it makes you wonder how her and the rest of, you know, the Barnes, like, ex. <laughs> um, not entertain. Well, yeah, entertainers are doing. Well, I think, you know, majority of what she was looking, she was just thinking about what happened previously.
course, because what else can you do? Well, I mean, obviously, you two aren't going to see eye to eye from this. You both want two different things and two drastically different ways of battling. Yeah, but I think you also clearly want to see these two argue all the time. I mean, they're not really consensually arguing. They're more of like just kind of picking at each other in a way. Which is what brothers and sisters do at the end of the day. But I feel like he just wants to do it for his amusement, you know. <laughs>
Seriously? <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. Because you obviously like her. I, I don't really think so, but okay. Of course. No wonder because why she's acting a certain type of way. Because you know, as women, we can be very, very jealous.
Honestly. <laughs> She's so adorable. Maybe. Mm -hmm. See, you say that, you say that, and then boom. Something's gonna happen in episode six. And of course, there's a reason why you want her there. a little too much pressure on just, you know, one person. <laughs> Who knows how this is going to go? I mean, seriously. Yes, I understand why she wants to celebrate her dead brother's birthday, but then at the same time, woo, girl, 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 what you secretly planning? Because come on, you secretly planning something. Come on now, let's be a little more smart about that. She is, like... Come on now, it would be obvious. Like, straight up. Like, why would she want both the two people, a.k.a. the reason why her brother is dead, to have dinner with her, to celebrate her dead brother's birthday? Something about that ain't right. I'm just saying. I'd be highly suspicious. I'd be like, okay, yeah, 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 but it's because she was like, you know, even if the princess refuses to come, you'll still come, right? Oh my god, like, 
No. <laughs> but I know, the fact that she was like, you know, I hate to, like, cancel a reservation or just be there by myself. Like, girl, come on, you, like, you way older than Jinto. So, I mean... What's the problem? You can't celebrate your dead brother birthday by yourself. Come on now. That's very fishy, ma'am. That's bullshit. That is bullshit, and she knows it. She is plotting something, and she is plotting something good. I'm sorry. Like, and see, and I knew once we found out that she her she was related to the Barton, like, I was like, hold up. Can't trust you. Like, mm, I want to, but then at the same time, I don't want to trust you. Because you don't know what in the world this woman is capable of. Hell, you don't even know what most women are capable of any anyway. Because, you know, you never know what the hell we're thinking. You know, we could be thinking of a very elaborate plan to, like, destroy. <laughs> to destroy the freaking world or anything. You just never know what, like, how capable women are when it comes to the people who they love and care about. Because they will literally do anything. And I truly mean anything to be the most conniving person they can be like <laughs> that is all i need to say about that but good pause video and i'll see you guys in one second for episode six okay episode six in three two one go See, my thing is, why would you want, why would you want to have a party with people who were connected with him? Something about that ain't right! Unfortunately, no, babe. True. Mm -hmm. It's too late now. You can't. He, he like seriously dead ass. He can't back out on this. He really truly can't. <laughs> because like I said in the previous video, you don't know how corrupting slash capable women are when you know someone says no. But especially when it comes to, like, dead, dead family members, like, I'm scared. I'm scared for them. They have to go to dinner and be with this woman around dinner. I couldn't do it. I know I can. Like, especially with the fact is that, you know, the biggest connection that you know about these two is that, you know, <clears throat> I little princess was the one who killed your brother? Oh, hell no. 
Like, seriously, she's she's wearing a mask, and she is wearing it beautifully. Like, secretly, any time when she talks to either, like, <laughs> you know that girl is like, I'm going to kill this damn child <laughs> for killing my brother. But seriously, as I said several weeks ago, I was like, if it is that, and if she's like, if she secretly still feels that way, killing her... And heck, even killing Jinto is not going to bring your brother back, unfortunately. So it's like, be the big girl and move the fuck on from it. Don't hold grudges, basically, as well. Yeah, you, you want to celebrate that? Of someone who you killed. Or is it because it's the right thing? Or maybe, like, your conscience something? Maybe? That's not true. I mean, Lafayette you would definitely miss you. Mm-hmm. I'll be fine. Well, yeah. It was for your safety. I mean, besides, she really looked nice and black. Oh, 
but you're not. Just be careful, though. You don't know what this woman is capable of. Wait, hold up. Is Jinto even old enough to drink? Apparently so, because they just give it to, to him like, uh, okay. <laughs> I wouldn't drink that. That could have poison in it. Maybe.
Yeah, ain't that a little coincidence? Something not right about that snow. No. Yeah, I mean, because, you know, your brother really was a complete and total asshole, hon. Oh, okay. I was about to say something. Nah. Yeah, in a way. It, it seems like she didn't really want to do anything bad to you guys. Thank God. But, I, I mean, still. She doesn't seem all that bad, though. But, it's, I still don't trust her. I like her. Just don't trust her. I know, because it's like, Deja, how in the world can you like someone but not trust them? I just do, okay?
You know, I, I wanted to say this in the previous episode, but the way these two brothers s essentially embrace each other feels like there's something more between these two. Maybe just teeny tiny bit. <laughs> of course, anybody would be nervous going to that dinner. I mean, come on now. She could have killed y'all any time that she had in, like, one little moment. Right? Okay, good. Uh. Okay! Right about that. And you gotta feel bad for him for that because truly, when we die, we have family and friends, but Ginto has no one. He has no one to turn to except, you know, Lafayette. But Lafayette will be the only one to remember him because, of course, she will outlive him. Which is, like, when you still even think about that, that is so freaking sad. Like, that's so fucked up. That, like, when, you, God. That's like being in a marriage and, you know, one of you will possibly outlive the other. That's the same thing about getting a pet. You know that you're going to outlive your pet's life. And it's really sad because... 
oh god you just want your pets and you want everyone to just stay alive and death is one of the most saddest things but it's also peaceful at the same time but you get to remember them you have you know videos pictures precious little things and heirlooms and everything of anyone who your loved ones pets anything of somebody who's passed away <clears throat> excuse me but for Dinto he has nothing and that's really sad to to the end of the day to to end off this episode like oh my god the feels this week Jesus y'all really did that god dang Plain space. The fuck? Like, in the between? Space time continuum, some ish? Maybe? We'll find out next week. But I mean, seriously, going back into that, like, <sighs> that's just sad. It, it really truly is. I'm sorry. Like, god dang. Like, once again, like, it, with this and freaking Black Bullet, the feels of these two shows have gone in these last two weeks like specifically like really really in and almost in a way talking about life and life in general and how you should always treat life if it's your last because you never truly really know what could happen in the world today i mean oh god this was too much this week for these two episodes and, and two shows in general like I cannot imagine what in the world is going to happen for like the next few weeks leading up into the conclusion of this season going on into the final season of this show but I mean really th this was a really good episode to have the Baron's sister come and invite those two which she didn't have to but I'm glad that she did um to just really honor his life the Baron's life even though you know <laughs> due to some circumstances <laughs> of situations I mean but it was a, it was a good dinner I, I love the fact that it was a little weird to basically eat the same like his last meal very weird I, I mean if it was like oh hey let's just have like a dessert honor honoring him you know because he liked pears uh, like in syrup and everything so it would have been like really hot pears and hot sticky syrup together right to honor him but girl, homegirl was like, nah, like everything you ate when the night that you killed my brother, you eating it again. That's a little awkward. <laughs> very, very awkward. <laughs> but thank God, Diaho is okay. He got a bath and everything. Like, but yes, please keep him away from Samson. I'm just, just you know, just saying. Because even though he said he ain't gonna eat a cat. He might want to. You never really know. But yeah. Other than that, guys, that was my reaction to towards episodes 5 and 6 of Banner of the Stars. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magic Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially on <clears throat> next Friday for Patreons and next Thursday for everybody else for episodes 7 and 8. Bye, guys.